Hi friends, welcome to medical video lecture series by All in Law team. In continuation with our presentations in ophthalmology, today we will discuss about some of the common pathologies that we see on fundus examination. I hope the medical students as well as the trainee doctors, especially in medicine, like registrars going in for their PACES exams will find this presentation useful. We will try to look at the various pathologies that we see on fundus examination on day-to-day -day basis and try to understand what they represent and how to pick them up on examination. Let us start with the examination of a normal fundus. You can see this image this image basically is uh, the image of a normal fundus this is uh, the fundus of the right eye because you can see the macula on your left side and the disc on the right side and this is the optic disc which represents the optic nerve head from here the optic nerve continues to the brain. This is called as the optic disc. The margins of the optic disc on this image looks normal. In case of optic disc swelling or papillary edema, the disc margin will be blurred. You may see a cup here which can sometimes be more prominent especially in patients with glaucoma so in this picture this is a normal optic disc with the normal blood vessels starting from the center of the disc this is a suprotemporal branch of the central retinal artery and uh, this is the inferior temporal branch and similarly you have got the suprotemporal as well as the inferior temporal branches or tributaries of the central retinal vein and this area is the macular area and the center of the macular area this is the fovea which is responsible for the central vision this image is not a perfectly normal image because you can see some yellow uh, fine deposits. These are drusens which represent the lipofuscin deposition at the level of retinal pigment epithelium uh, that we see in patients with dry type of age-related macular degeneration. There are no obvious hemorrhages or exudates or other pathologies on this image. This is the same image showing a normal optic disc and the normal retinal blood vessels with some drusens in the macular area due to the age-related macular degeneration. The vitreous here is clear, that is the media is clear, that is why we are able to see all the structures very clearly. And uh, remember, this is uh, the image that is taken after dilatation of the pupil with the dilating drops like tropicamide or cyclopentolate with or without uh, phenylephrine. So in this image, this is the image of the left eye, as you can see the optic disc on the left side. And uh, the disc margins here look normal. If you try to look very carefully, you can see some fine blood vessels uh, on the optic disc. These are the new vessels at the disc, that is NVD. Uh, the most common reasons are either uh, diabetic retinopathy that is proliferative diabetic retinopathy or retinal vein occlusions leading to new vessel formation and when you look at the blood vessels you can see some of the hemorrhages uh, 
in the macular area and uh, these are called as uh, dot and blot hemorrhages which are deeper retinal hemorrhages and uh, these tiny dots that you see here are the microaneurysms which are aneurysmal dilatation of the capillaries which are nothing but outpushing from the walls of the capillaries that is commonly seen in diabetics and other vascular disorders these happen because of the loss of parasites in the capillary layer leading to the weakening of the capillary wall leading to formation of the small aneurysms these are very small in size sometimes may be difficult to pick up on fundus examination uh, but you can pick them up more obviously especially with the fluorescein angiography so the next thing that we see here are the yellow deposits you can see them they are tiny yellow deposits very irregular in uh, shapes bright yellow in color and they look a bit more prominent these are hard exudates which represent leakage of a capillary uh, sorry the lipids from the blood vessels these are called as hard exudates similarly on this picture you can see some uh, brown pigments here uh, these basically are the laser scars and uh, if you look here you can see some white uh, uh, spot there this is a cotton wool spot which is also called as a soft exudate this represents the in the ischemia of the nerve fiber layer of the retina if you look at this and compare it with the hard exudates the hard exudates are more brighter yellow in color they are more smaller and uh, they have got uh, well-defined margins whereas the cottonal spots which represent uh, ischemia of the nerve fiber layer are uh, more dull in color they look like cotton they have got ill-defined margins and they are relatively large in size hard exudate generally represent a chronic leakage from the blood vessels whereas the cotinal spots suggest acute ischemia of the nerve fiber layer again this is an image of the left eye showing multiple cotinal spots or the soft exudates as i was mentioning these represent the ischemia of the nerve fiber layer you can see them they are relatively more larger in size they look like cotton they have got ill-defined margins and they generally tend to disappear in about three to six months time uh, there are some retinal hemorrhages as well mm, here the disc looks fine and the blood vessels look a little bit dilated and tortuous but uh, uh, no major abnormality within the disc this is a very good image showing the definite new blood vessels here which look very prominent and very clearly and uh, you can see some abnormal blood vessels here as well and uh, there are some hemorrhages here if you look at this this is a flame shaped hemorrhage we say it is a flame shape because it resembles uh, the flame this takes a shape because it is in the superficial the nerve fiber layer of the retina and uh, whereas the dot and blot hemorrhages if you remember from the previous image that uh, is a hemorrhage within the deeper layer of the retina that is called as a dot and blot hemorrhages obviously the blood vessels look quite dilated and tortuous here uh, and uh, there are some fine blood vessels sometimes it may be difficult to pick up the new vessels at the disc and um, maybe a little bit difficult to differentiate them from uh, the collaterals that sometimes can happen in patients who have got uh, uh, the vein occlusions in which case the fundus fluorescein angiography the dye test uh, is uh, very helpful which shows significant leakage in case of new vessels whereas uh, the collaterals don't show much leakage another image showing here some dot and blot hemorrhages with some exudates in the macular area close to fovea this 
again uh, is very close to the fovea the central area hence the patient is at risk of uh, losing vision because of the maculopathy i think we have seen this image before as well another image of the right uh, fundus showing multiple cortinal spots here which represent the ischemia and some uh, dot hemorrhages most probably these are the changes suggestive of diabetic retinopathy sometimes you can see these uh, features even in patients who have got uh, hypertensive retinopathy or even the vein occlusions this uh, fundus image does not show any significant abnormality at the disc and the blood vessels are looking fine you can't see any obvious uh, hemorrhages or exudates in the macular area but you can see some pigmentary changes uh, temporal to the fovea these are the laser scars this looks like a laser that was uh, done quite some years ago because uh, the latest laser machines give a very small uh, spot laser scars which don't cause much scarring laser is one of the treatment option for the diabetic maculopathy this is another image showing uh, probably a normal disc with some whitening around the disc which represents the fibrosis possibly from the previous uh, proliferative retinopathy either due to diabetes or sometimes uh, the vein occlusion you can see this white spots just temporal uh, sorry the nasal to the optic disc here as well as below the inferior blood vessels as well as the superior blood vessels these are the retinal laser scars from the panretinal photocoagulation again here you can see some white uh, uh, sorry yellow refractile uh, deposits which are of various shapes and sizes these are the hard exudates uh, from uh, which result from the leakage from the blood vessels possibly this is a diabetic maculopathy with stable treated proliferative retinopathy changes so in summary whenever you want to explain the fundus examination changes try to comment on how is the optic disc does it look normal or does it look swollen and how are the blood vessels do they look normal or whether there are any abnormalities on the blood vessels can you see any hemorrhages or you can see any hard exudates or cortinal spots do mention about the macula whether the macula is normal or the macula shows any uh, edema or any obvious uh, hemorrhages i hope this presentation will be useful for you whenever you examine the patient's fundus whether on bedside or in your clinics once again thanks for your participation in watching the lecture series by all in law team do like share and comment on the presentations